What's up, everybody? Dan is back. Uh, it's been a few weeks since the last reviews, but um, I told you we had a few drops coming, and uh, today we're going to start with uh, uh, with one of the few pickups that I got over the weeks. Um, <clears throat> as you know, uh, Reebok is bringing back the, uh, the classic leather. Um, already we've seen a bunch of collabs drop uh, on that silhouette. Uh, Mita, Hanon Shop, uh, Packers in Jersey, you know, brought you a few. Uh, pr pretty nice collabs with the Reebok, with the Reebok Classic. Um, here we have um, a, a nice, a nice set really by Stash. I'm sure everyone knows Stash from uh, previous drops that he's done with Reebok. Uh, as well, uh, but this time he did uh, <clears throat> a city series. Uh, actually, uh, he he kind of uh, teamed up with a few other graffiti artists around the country, from L.A., Philly, uh, Chicago, I think was another one. Uh, and then you know him himself, he did one himself too. So um, I think there was a total of uh, seven sneakers altogether that that kind of came out with this uh, with the city series. Three of which. We're just straight up regular uh, drops that you could have gotten anywhere. Um, uh, the other three, or the other four actually, uh, you know, city inspired uh, Reebok collabs uh, were a little tougher to find, but uh, uh, they were still, you know, pretty much uh, readily available. Um, uh, I did get uh, one of the, you know, uh, one of the original colorways uh, out of the first three. Uh, you had a red. Uh, a blue and a gray. Uh, the gray one I ordered, it's still not here, but it's on its way. But then I picked up another one um, that we're going to look at today um, from the actual City Series. This one's uh, uh, actually from um, the LA Drop, LA Graffiti Artist. Um, I forgot the dude's name, but I'm sure if you, you, know, you look it up, you can find it. Uh, I personally went with this one um, for the simple fact that I thought this one had um, the nicest colorway out of out of the four that came out, you know, I'm tired of seeing blue shoe, blue sneakers, blue shoes. I have a ton of them in my collection, so uh, you know, the other the other reason was I kind of wanted to mix it up a little bit. So, uh, but first things first, I really did go with the uh, you know the way this shoe kind of came out, the layout of the shoe, you know, the coloring of it and whatnot. I thought uh, to me it just stands out a little bit more. Uh, you know, that doesn't take away from all the other ones. All the other ones look great, uh, but this one that just kind of caught my attention, caught my eye a little bit better. Um, so let's take a look at it. Um, the shoe is pretty uh, <clears throat> simple, but yet complicated in the same respect. Uh, as you can see, uh, a lot of graffiti, a lot of different colors used uh, around the shoe itself. Uh, this is actually patent leather. Uh, patent leather uh, is uh, you know the uh, the fabric used for for the actual coloring uh, of the silhouette. Everything else is all gray nubuck. All right, so you got gray new buck here. Uh, it's probably not, you know, the most premium of, uh, of new buck materials, but you know, it's still pretty good, good quality. Uh, uh, definitely softens the shoe up a little bit, uh, as opposed to the patent leather, which you know we all know, patent leather can uh, can be stiff and, and can stay stiff, uh, you know, for a while. Um, but if you look at the shoe, this, this uh, the sneaker, it's pretty simple. You know, the, the shape of the shoe is, is awesome. Uh, it, it's super comfortable. Uh, you know, I already have the, the Packer drop. I have the Mita drop. Uh, the, the sneaker is dope. Uh, so you know, I was kind of happy to see that uh, uh, we have more coming, and more on the way. Uh, and the Stash series, you know, you, you just can't ask for anything uh, better. Everyone knows Stash always has awesome drops and, all, and always uses dope colorways. So uh, as you can see, the shoe has hits of blue, hits of purple, hits of red, green. Uh, you know, uh, turquoise, yellow, orange, you, you got it all in here, all right? Um, you know, everything is pretty much done the same, replicated. Uh, if you can see on the heel tab of the shoe, kind of zoom in on that, uh, you, you'd see where, where the sneaker is actually from or inspired by. You know, this one says Los Angeles on it. That's, you know, the, uh, uh, the sneaker the, that I went with. Uh, uh, but all the other ones also have, uh, you know, the cities transcribed into the uh, into the heel counter. Uh, but again, simple. Everything, uh, you know, is, is pretty much uh, dope as far as the colorway is concerned. The, you know, the, gr the graffiti art to it, so to speak. Uh, definitely a shoe I recommend. If you could uh, still find them, I'm sure you can go to Reebok, uh, Reebok's web website. I'm sure there's, you know, a bunch that are still available. That's where I got these from. So you could probably find them. Um, and then again, you know, you got the you know the, the toe cap 
you got the gray new buck, you got the, you know, the side paneling is all gray new buck, you know, the uh, portion of the heel tab is a uh, gray new buck as well. The tongue is actually gray leather, uh, gray leather in the tongue if you could kind of, uh, you know, zoom in on that and see that it's actually, uh, you know, straight up premium leather used on that tongue. So that's uh, pretty good. It gives it a nice little, uh, 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 nice little touch to it. Tongue's not too fat, not, you know, a nice thin tongue to wear. Uh, so it's pretty, uh, uh, pretty comfortable, you know, wearing it all day long. Let me try to get the footbed out of here, because if you can see the footbed, the footbed is actually, uh, uh, oh no, this one does come out. All right, uh, all of the footbeds pretty much have the same, same kind of uh, uh, coloring to it. Still use that graffiti, uh, the colorway, you know, the the actual print. Uh, so that's pretty dope. Um, I don't know if all the other ones have it, but uh, you know this one, uh, this one sure does. So, you know, pretty simple, pretty, uh, uh, <clears throat> but still, like I said, uh, you know, complicated as far as the coloring is concerned. You know, graffiti artists have, uh, uh, you know, probably not so easy time making the art that they do on all different types of uh, uh, of surfaces that they have to work on. But uh, I'm, I'm sure, you know. Doing it on sneakers isn't any different, but uh, there you have it. You know, I definitely recommend picking up any type of Reebok Classic that you can get your hands on, whether it's uh, the, the Staff City Series, or you you know pick up the uh, um, the Packer one, the Mita one, Hanon, you know, Soul Box, whatever. I mean, there's more coming down the road too. Even just you know the straight up general release from uh, from Reebok themselves. Uh, definitely grab a pair. I mean, these will uh, you know for the price, 65 bucks, you know, 70 bucks, you can't beat it. You really can't. Uh, but the comfort alone, you know, it's definitely a, a great shoe to have in your uh, in your collection. So um, uh, there you have it, uh, Reebok Classic City Series by uh, by Stash and his buddies uh, from uh, all walks of the uh, of the country. Um, hopefully, we'll uh, we'll grab a few more Reeboks down the road this year. Uh, there's plenty more coming, so uh, you know, keep your eye out, out on it if uh, if you're a Reebok fan. Uh, stick around. I got a. Another video uh, that's uh, about to drop that uh, everyone's been asking me about, waiting for. So uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.